Hi Kung Zoo fans everywhere, I'm Firelord54 and today I'm going to show you some points and tricks about uh, the tablets that uh, every Kung Zoo hamster comes with. And as any Kung Zoo fan will likely know, uh, each Kung Zoo comes with his own battle tablet. When the Kung Zoo is run over this tablet, then he will unlock his own battle sounds and go into battle mode, when you, which is when you can then put him in the arena to fight against other bat charged up battle hamsters. When run over his tablet, the Kung Zhu unlocks the battle sounds that are unique to him. However, there's actually much more to these tablets than you might think. Today I'm going to show you some pointers and tips that you may not have realized are within your Kung Zhu tablets. First, I'll explain the basics. Each, as you may know, each Kung Zhu comes in team pairs. For example, Draco and Yama, the ninjas, come in the Dragon Clan. You can tell this by the matching symbols they have on their backs. Likewise, Special Forces Rocco and Stonewall belong on the Delta Force. Likewise, they also have a similar sword symbol on their back. Now, as you can see, Kung Zhu Draco's tablet, Shadow Tablet, has a particular code. Yes. The arrow that you may see on the underside of the tablet shows what direction you're supposed to run the Kung Zhu over the code. There are little switches that can be found at the front end of the Kung Zhu that, when activated in the right way, will unlock the Kung Zeus battle code, depending on what the code is. Interestingly enough, team members who belong on hamsters who belong on the same team actually share the same code as their teammate, except in reverse. Here is Yama's tablet. It goes in this direction. Now watch. Their codes are identical. And, likewise, when you may know Kung Zeus will make... will make their teammates battle sounds when they run on the opposite direction of their own tablet. What you just heard was Draco's code. Now I've turned his tablet around the other way, and I'm going to unlock Yama's. This can be seen in all the Kung Zhu team pairs. I'll show you all the other Kung Zhu tablets. Here is the Ranger's tablets, Thunder tablet for Ribbit, and Ambush tablet for Surge. Here's Ribbit's code, where the arrow points, and here's Surge's code. They're identical. Here's, as shown earlier, the Delta Forces tablets, Dune tablet for Rocco, and Night Raid for Stonewall. This is Rocco's code, and here's Stonewall's. They're identical. Here is the Dragon Clan's tablets, Shadow tablet for Draco, and Fire tablet for Yama. And, as shown earlier, they are identical. Now, this is the Skull Tribe's tablets. The Dark tablet for Azer, and the Blizzard tablet for Thorn. Here are their codes. And when Thorns is flipped, they are identical. This pattern of same but opposite codes holds true for the tablets of rare Kung Zeus too. Over here we have Casey's Moon Tablet, 
and Gosler's scabbard tablet. On looking closely, you will see that, as with all Kung Zoos, Gosler's tablet is actually in the same pattern. From experience, I've also noticed that rare Kung Zoos like Gosler, KZ, and Siege W5 actually have the same codes as certain more common kung zoos. For example, I have here Casey's tablet, the moon tablet. Here is her code. And if you here is Draco's shadow tablet. And when you compare them, you'll see that their codes are also identical. However, if you run Casey over this tablet, she will not make Draco sounds but she will have her own unique sounds. Likewise, here is Yama's tablet, which is opposite to Draco's, and it matches. Now each Kung Zhu does come with its own tablet and sounds. Then, as you may have noticed, for one thing, Kung Zhu's on the same team do make the same fighting sounds. However, you may also notice that technically any tablet can be applied to any Kung Zhu if you want that particular sound. For example, here is Rocco with his Dune tablet. And that's his sound effect. However, you could take Azer's tablet, one of my favorites, run him over it, and he entirely takes on Azer's sounds and personality. It, however, the, the sharing of sounds is limited to a group, you could say. All these tablets and sounds can be sh shared and circulated within all the typical main eight hamsters that you were originally sold. Now, this principle does apply to rare Kung Zeus. However, they have kind of in their own pool, I guess. They have their own sounds. For example, here's Gosler, a rare Kung Zhu. And when I'm running over Azer ta Azer's tablet, it's clearly not Azer's battle sounds he's making. It's somebody else's. I'm not quite sure who. You may recognize these pieces. These are the sort of entry tracks that go on either side of the battle arena. It's what the Kung Zhu runs over just before he enters through the little door flap. This is the one for the ninja side, and likewise, this is the one for the special forces side. And you may notice on looking closer that they both have codes in them. Now what's interesting about these little codes is that they are like a universal tablet, and whoever you run it over, that will unlock their own unique battle sounds. For example, take Stonewall. When you run them the other way, it actually turns the hamster off. We can try the same for Draco. And when you run in the opposite direction, he will turn off. The same, of course, applies to rare Kung Zhu's, like Gosselar. So, what's 
what's very special about these codes is that if you have this code down, then you can pretty much run any kung Zhu over it, and that will unlock their own special unique codes. Now, I may have noticed in some kung Zhu's, there's a bit of a fluke. This here is Surge's battle sound, and Rocco has an entirely different one. So that's a little bit odd, but in general, any kung Zhu that you run over this code will have his special battle sounds unlocked. Finally, I'm going to talk to you about what I call hacking. You don't actually need a tablet to unlock battle sounds on a kung Zhu. As I mentioned earlier, the kung Zhu's have these little switches on the front bottom end that when run over the bumps on that particular tablet, they activate the particular battle code, battle sounds, depending on what the uh, code is. However, you can take a shortcut and completely skip this. I will show you. For example, let's try Thorne's battle sounds. His code shows double double, a right, a left, a double double, and another left. Now let's punch that in. Double, double, left, double, double, left. There you have it. This uh, hacking method can be applied to pretty much any kung Zhu. It's, in other words, you are playing the role of the tablet and flicking the switches in the right order the way the bumps on the particular tablet would. So all you need really is to have the order of the bumps in mind and then just punch in that order in the switches on the kung Zhu, and you can unlock whatever sound you want, just like a real tablet. So, as you can see, then there's actually a lot more to your kung Zhu tablet than you might realize. Each kung Zhu has different battle codes, teams share the same code except in reverse, and pretty much any code can apl be applied to another kung Zhu. If you have any, you can try hacking your own kung Zhu's and see how it goes for you. If you have any rare kung Zhu tablets, then you can also try and compare them to tablets you might have for the main eight kung Zhu's and see if you can make any matches. As always, have fun and uh, Keep experimenting. I'm Filer54 and signing out.